Peace and blessings, family. Peace and blessings. Mark the Messenger. We are back when the video is very, very windy out where I'm at right now. So, and also there's like so much bees around me. So if you guys see any bees around me, let me know because I do not want to get stung. But this one's gonna be about Joseph, the story of Joseph. For those who don't know, uh, he was betrayed. Bet betrayed. <laughs> he was betrayed by his family, uh, by his own brothers, right? But it gets more interesting because like he really went through hell on earth, right? Like getting betrayed by your own family, getting thrown in a ward and just being isolated from society and just being looked down and to becoming to becoming sitting next to living with the kings of Egypt, with the rulers of Egypt, man. And this is a very important subject that we have to talk about as men. And like I tell you guys all the time, when it comes to overcoming lust, I'm gonna talk about this, uh, this story in a little bit. When it comes to overcoming lust, you're you're we want to have the mind of god is going to reward me god is going to bless me I, the breakthrough is coming when i when i overcome these temptations man the bible even says that blesses a man that endures the temptations for when he is tried he shall receive the crown of life that is given unto him just like in joseph Faroa. i always say his name wrong people how, guys let me know in the comments how to pronounce his name Faroa, Faroa, whatever right his wife i'm not sure how many wives he had but one of his wives was lusting right lusting after joseph and you know she was egyptian so you know she had oh she was looking good i'm pretty sure she was looking good she her, her skin wasn't malign she was looking real good and a lot of brothers in that situation and you know she was doing it behind closed doors whatever her husband was doing who knows but she was doing behind closed doors and a lot of brothers in that situation they would have folded they would have gave in to the temptations they would have gave into the lust the lust of the flesh and you know committing adultery and joseph in that situation because he feared god okay this is how he was able to endure those temptations this is why he was a he was blessed because he had the fear of god in him and he was chosen from a young age i mean he was chosen from from the womb but at a young age he had god gave him that dream that powerful dream and he should have kept it to himself but hey it was all part of the plan it was all a part of god's plan okay so a lot of brothers in that situation they would have folded they would have been like oh no one's looking all right let's go let's go in the room real quick let's let's get it pop <laughs> get the heady bottle out get the casamigos let's get it popping real quick oh your husband's gone a lot of brothers would have folded but he ran he had the fear of god in him Okay, and because of that, he was blessed. And yes, you know, what she did, you know, a lot of these Eves are kind of demonic. A lot of them are, you know, she said, oh no, he, he, she made it seem like he was the one that, you know, was trying to get it in with him. And he suffered for it. He suffered for righteous sake. But best believe, whenever people are lying about you, slandering your name, gossiping, uh, you know, throwing all salt on your flame, okay, the fire of God in you. When people are doing that, best believe God is going to exalt you in front of them all, okay, because in the end, truth prevailed, and, you know, Faroah, I'm saying his name wrong, uh, he saw the truth, okay, and Joseph, you got to understand, man, a lot, like I said, guys, a lot of brothers, they would have fallen in that situation. The Bible says to flee youthful lust. So all you brothers who struggle with lust, okay? And I know it's not only the brothers, you know, men and women, we all, we all, you know, we all have our own vices. You know, some people struggle with lust. Some people struggle with, like, gluttony. Some people struggle with, with drugs or, you know, uh, or, you know, stuff like that, right? You know, all that. And... What keeps me to overcome the lust, to overcome the temptations, I think of Joseph, bro. I think of the situation where he was in, where he could have got it popping. He could have got it popping, man. And he was like, nah, I fear God. I love God so much that I'm not going to sin against him. I love God so much, not just by my words, but by my actions. I'm going to keep the commandments. Because what does the Bible say? Thou shall not commit adultery. And he and, and God blessed him, man. God blessed him. A lot of men in that situation, they would have folded. They would have pulled a David. Okay, we all know what happened to David. Okay, now, not here to condemn it. You know, it's all just a testimony we can all learn from it. And I want to share this testimony that I had just recently. Y'all remember the video that I made? You know, I told people I fell short of God's glory. It was in the same spot where I made this video at too. Same spot. Beautiful day in California. And, you know, I told people that... Um, you know, God leveled me up and I felt depressed because I was gaining more wisdom, more knowledge. And, you know, through that wisdom, through that knowledge that God blessed me with, it came with sorrow, it came with grief. And, you know, I always tell people that, you know, every time you level up, 
you know, sometimes it could get uncomfortable because God's breaking you free from the strongholds. God's separating you from certain people that can't go where God's taking you. And you can find yourself alone, okay? Now, of course, in the spiritual realm, you're never alone. But, you know, you might find yourself in the physical realm alone, but that's just God preparing you. So sometimes he has to remove people from your life. You know, and sometimes the blessing too, people always think of blessings as material things. You don't want to have a carnal mind when it comes to blessings, okay? Sometimes a blessing is getting the devils out of your life, getting those demons, the deceivers, the snakes, God cutting them off out of your life. That's a blessing, okay? Sometimes you, you pray for a blessing and God's blessing every single day, but you're waiting for the blessing to be money. You're waiting for the blessing to be material. That's, bro, not to say that God can't bless you with that, but... You know, sometimes the blessing got to be, you know, it's, it's, sometimes it could be spiritual, okay? And like I said, you know, just recently, God, he, uh, you know, I'm not going to see it. You know, how I said God, because we could always blame the devil this, the devil that. And, you know, yes, you know, God does not lead us to temptation. That, that is, you know, sometimes it could be your flesh or sometimes it is the devil. But God sometimes tests us, okay? We know what happened to the book of Job where he allowed Satan to attack Job. He allowed it, okay? It was all just a test of your faith to see if you're ready for the next level, to see if you're ready for the blessings that God has prepared for you. But you gotta pass a test, just like in school, to get to the next grade, to get to the next level. You gotta pass a test, okay? And if you don't pass a test, you gotta repeat the whole year all over again. And that's exactly how it is on this, on this path, on this neural path. God, I'm telling you, man, you fail the test, you, you stay on the same level. And now you gotta wait for the next, when, when God prepares a test for you again, who knows how long that's gonna be, okay? Who knows how long it's gonna be? And, you know, um, I've, there's, you know, and see, like I told you guys, the devil knows, and God knows too as well, everything that you like, okay? When it comes to a female, or when it comes to, for you sisters, when it comes to a man, he knows the exact type, the way they look, the way they talk, the way they dress. It's just, they're gonna come like an angel of light. I mean, it's just completely perfect. Everything that you ever desired, man. But it's just a test. Like, I'm pretty sure uh, Fro's wife, I'm saying the name wrong, I know, make fun of me in the comments. Feel free to make fun of me in the comments. Go ahead, slander me, cast stones, do what you gotta do. Yes, yes, okay. But, um, so you got, I mean, I'm pretty sure, you know, she, like I said, she was looking good. Her Malayan skin, you know, from Egypt, the, the queen or the queen or princess of Egypt. I don't know. You know, the, the queen of Egypt because her husband was a king, right? I'm sure she was looking good. Okay. And a lot of men, man, like I, I just think of that. A lot of men would have folded in this, in this test that I had just recently. I remembered of Joseph. Not only that too, God used a brother. Remember, because God will, God, when I always tell you guys about this, the videos that I make about the signs, God will always... Uh, tell people around you, you know, watch out for this person or watch out for this and that. So not only did I remember Joseph, I because through meditating on the word of God, right? Meditating on God's word, you know, meditate on the testimonies, on the testimonies too. Okay, uh, Joseph's testimony, Christ's testimony, Job's testimony, David's testimony. Okay, all all those testimonies are meditating on that, and also God is using the brother too. And man, I pass that test. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get into detail about it, but just know. The devil always, when he once he when he tries to tempt you, he knows exactly what you struggle with, exactly what your, your flesh is raging war against. Okay, and God knows this too. And it was just a test. And like I said, I, I meditated on the testimonies, I meditated on the Word of God, and I I endured, man, I, and I gained that crown of life. God bless me, man. I'm not gonna talk about the blessing. I'm not gonna talk about how the test, what, what the test was, but best believe, guys, I'm leveling up. Okay, and I showed you guys. Well, I fell short and I was looking sad and, you know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, right? And because I have to let people know the other side, yeah, right now I'm fired up. I'm, woo, I told y'all, I told y'all I'm getting my fire back, bro. I told y'all, y'all didn't believe me, man. Why, why, why? I told you, bro. Because this happens all the time, okay? And the righteous falls seven times and he rises up again. But, you know, also keep in mind, as you're rising up again, the devil doesn't want you to rise up again, so he's going to throw all these, you know, snares at you to fall. But remember, blessed is a man that endures temptation. So when you guys are battling when that corn addiction or maybe, you know, masturbating or, or whatever, whatever the case may be, whatever a type of whatever type of sin you, you battle with. Right now, that wasn't the sin I struggled with, but I'm just take, I'm speaking of uh, sexual lust, sexual morality, um, you know, because that's like, you know. I see that a lot of people thought that it was that when I struggle with. So like, I guess that's what a lot of people struggle with. So I'll just talk about that. And we all know, like I said, Joseph, he fleed his youthful lust. I'm pretty sure Joseph was in his 20s when that happened. You know, your youthful lust, feed youthful lust, but follow after righteousness, faith, and charity, and all that follow the Lord in a pure heart. So we just got to pass these tests, guys. You guys want to be blessed? You guys want that breakthrough? 
pass those tests, man. Pass it, pass it. Whatever, whatever you struggle with, understand, man. When you give up that sin, God will bless you. A lot of y'all waiting for the blessing, waiting for the breakthrough, but you just keep on serving your flesh, which is death, with this corruption, which profits nothing. Okay, so give all praise to the Most High. Yes, we struggle, we fall short, but we ought to keep these commandments to the best of our abilities because we love God. Just like how Joseph loved God, so he fleed adultery. Okay, the fear of God in him caused him to flee, you know, to, to flee all the things that's going to, you know, displease God. That's going to rebel against God's commandments. So keep on passing the test, keep on enduring, keep on, you know, striving to the end because he that endures the end, the same shall be said. I love you guys so much. Run away from your lust. Run away from your sins like Joseph. I'm out. Peace. Peace. I forgot to add to this too. Don't forget to subscribe to my new channel where I'm posting a lot more than I'm posting on this channel at Mark the Messenger Live. And if you haven't already, make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel. I'm out. Peace.